residents living in the apartments at Hunter and Aylmer got a rude awakening this morning when the roof of their building collapsed. As Pamela Van Meer reports, one street is closed, four businesses have shut their doors, and 17 people are homeless for the next few days. It's like within seconds, our living room floor was going up and down like crazy, and I just grabbed my keys, I grabbed my wife and the cat, and we ran for the door. And That's how the day started for Tommy Ray, who lives at 223 Hunter Street West. Roofing contractors were putting bundled shingles on the roof when it collapsed. Two workers on the roof at the time, both of them have been uh, taken off the roof, they were not injured, and uh, the building's been evacuated and we're waiting for the Ministry of Labour right now. And the city has an engineer on site right now and they're getting ready to check for uh, how soon or what's going to have to be done before we can let people back in. Ray says he knew something was wrong immediately. Our, our walls heaved in a little bit on our living room and went back, but I think that was just from the roof caving in on the neighbor so heavily that it had to go out somewhere and just, it, it just caved in on us. <laughs> The building's owner says he isn't aware of any structural problems. So when I get the insurance, right, the insurance guys comes in and check it out. That's his all. Because nothing happened before, so there is no need to inspection the whole building, you know what I mean? A city building inspector who performed a preliminary inspection couldn't see any visible problems, but the age of the building could be a factor. There was no obvious signs of rot. There is probably some rot. It's an old roof. That roof's been there for over a hundred years. Seventeen people have been forced to leave their homes and four businesses including the Night Kitchen and Sandy's Variety are closed until a crane can be brought in to remove the collapsed portion of the roof. Hunter Street between George and Aylmer remains closed. The Peterborough City County Disaster Trust Fund has been called in to help those affected by the accident here today. Anyone needing help can call 742-7175. Repairs are expected to take about two weeks. Pamela Van Meer, Chex News Watch, Peterborough.